Hi guys, it's new Mistaka here, and uh, if you've been watching my recent unboxing videos, you may have noticed amongst the results a 1937 half sovereign that uh, I originally bought, and this is the original coin. It uh, came in an old style holder. Uh, it was from a seller in China. Uh, NGC had graded it um, quite a few years ago and given it a grading of PF65. Uh, 65 grading on this coin is very good. Uh, there are some 66s, um, and some of the coins are graded with Cameo or even Ultra Cameo, and they command a little bit of a premium. But this one was graded 65 with no particular Cameo, um, and unfortunately it was full of red spots. So a lot of gold coins suffer from these red spots, and uh, it was a bit tatty. Uh, you can see the hologram on the back, probably some first generation hologram. Um, it had rubbed off a lot, obviously been handled and cherished over a number of years, and found its way to, uh, to a guy in China. And uh, he had it on for uh, a particular price on eBay, and uh, I contacted him and uh, made him an offer. Uh, we ended up doing the deal on eBay for buyer protection, but um, because of the red spots and the fact that nobody else was really interested in it, uh, I managed to get a reasonable price for this coin, which is a coin that I've been looking for for some time. Um, 1937, they only produced um, 5,000, just over 5,000 specimen proof sets. Um, They've actually done very well over the last few years. There's a lot of people in China, Japan, and a lot of collectors who absolutely must have, for example, the Sovereign in their collection. The Sovereign commands a premium. Um, the Half Sovereign goes for a pretty good price, and the Double Sovereign uh, is also pretty good. Uh, in fact, all of them are good uh, in this set, but uh, a good graded set can cost... 15, 16,000 pounds, anything up to 20, 25,000 dollars they've gone for. Um, so it was quite nice to be able to get the, the half sovereign from this set. So I always had at the back of my mind that I would send it over to NCS and NGC in one of our gradings and let them have a little play with it and see what they can do to improve it. And uh, here is the finished result. It's in a nice new slab. They, uh, they've re-slabbed it, uh, still PF65. I believe they just give the... So they, don't, they don't necessarily re-evaluate it if it's already got a grading, unless you ask them to do that. So it, it carries forward its 65 grading from, from the uh, previous slab. Um, I'm never sure what if, if they've got a CAC sticker on. Maybe somebody can tell me whether you can actually regrade something, re-slab it, and they'll put the CAC sticker back on. I don't think they will. I think they probably need to evaluate it again because it would have a different number on this time. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. They've done a great job. NCS are to be congratulated. Um, really, really pleased with the conservation job they've done on this. And it's given me uh, some encouragement to go after other value gold coins uh, with rust spots, uh, these copper spots on them. And in fact, uh, I have actually bought a double sovereign to go with this on HA.com in the Chicago auction. And uh, that's also got a little red spot on it. So I'm going to do the same thing with that. Uh, it's also a PF65. And we'll see what happens with that. That'll be another video in a few weeks' time, probably June or July sometime when I get that back. But uh, I'm very pleased with this, as you can probably tell. Um, you know, they've done a great job. Looking forward to having this one in my collection. And I just wanted to show you some stills of it, and particularly this one, which is the before and after. So uh, the one on the right is the original, and the one on the left is the new, fully refurbished version.